guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in you're very much welcome in this channel and if you are new here karibu sana for my kenyan friends habari zenu karibu today i'm taking you to my fridge organization tour just to share some ideas on how i organize my fridge okay i must um say this we have two fridge in our home the reason why we have two fridge is because when we got this home we had to work with the space that we had so the fridge that we had before or the fridge that is integrated in the kitchen is quite small in my opinion for a family of four so we got ourselves a bigger fridge and we actually needed some comfort or we just wished to have some comfort and we got a fridge where it the freezer is integrated and we also got a fridge that um, we can make ice cubes, we can make um, ice, uh, crushed ice and we can get chilled water. And the other fridge was just a, it's just a fridge, it has no freezer, nothing. So the place I have the fridge that we got later on is actually the place I had the freezer before. So I actually thought why not get the two integrated if you if you can follow what i'm trying to say so yeah that is um pretty much it and in the in the fridge that is integrated in the kitchen or maybe in the fridge that you guys have mostly seen in my youtube videos is um where the, that's a place i keep things like milk like some of the yogurt some of the eggs some of the cheese, some of the bacon and things like that. Vegetables that I just quickly want to grab. Just, just that kind of stuff that you use quickly. Some sauces like ketchup and barbecue and all that kind of things. If you will be interested to see the kitchen fridge, just let me know in the comment section. And I will, yeah, I will make a tour to that one too. But as I said, it's a petty fridge. And now, without further blah blah blah, good enjoy in your own basi fridge. Yeah, boma etu. Hey, I can't even speak Swahili. I would rather speak Masai. Yeah, that's it. So this is the overview of the fridge, guys. Karibu sana. So guys, here is the fridge. As I told you earlier, it's a combined system. Here is is it you can see it got two doors so on your right side is the fridge and on your left side is the freezer including the, the cabinet where you have the um, ice cubes yeah where you have the ice cubes machine i'm going to start by showing you the fridge and then we go ahead to the freezer yeah so this is how you open this fridge it has no holders but it's well designed that you just can open it like this and here we go this is the fridge yeah and just um up up here i have the yogurts that is where i keep the yogurts because my family as in my husband and my little daughter they really love yogurt i'm not that kind of a yogurt person but they truly love yogurt so that is why there is so much of yogurt here i can just um pull up and show you these are all yogurts uh, arranged according to the expiring date all these are yogurts <laughs> yeah and um i have this i just decided to arrange this fridge with these uh, fridge organizers i find it quite practical because as you can see i can just pick pick up if i'm looking for something i'm yet to get more because i don't actually have enough a bit unfortunate but that's a fact and then in the second cabinet i have juices fruits and vegetables that i just uh, already prepared just to make sure that um I waste no time or kids waste no time when they want to eat to cook lunch or if they want to have any vegetables so right here i have these bottles that i actually are not the <laughs> they are originally smoothie bottles that i got from germany yeah that i got from germany they are really amazing they have very 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 nice uh, smoothies but 
actually they are very expensive but i think they are also expensive because the bottles are amazing so uh, i was introduced to these juice by my brother-in-law and i thank him for that and finally i just decided to keep the bottle so i can make really good use of them as you can see and you see the the best thing about these bottles they have them oh my fridge is complaining so um they they actually have already the recipe which i could prepare i do that sometimes but that is not what is here now as for now it's just just normal orange juice i am not a fan of tetra pack and all those kind of things so i am so happy to have these bottles and here i have my green smoothies i am trying to drink green smoothies <laughs> i definitely just used to think that they test uh, but actually i've been loving them amazing those are it if you can see they are actually different type of them and normally they have the green bottles for the green smoothies but i i don't know why i have only this one green one the rest are just white but um yeah with green smoothies and then here i had a lot of watermelon so i decided to make a watermelon smoothie this is also watermelon smoothie yeah and um it actually for my husband too so when he's going to work he can just pick one and go and then right here we have some uh, uh, salad dressing yeah, there is a lady that does prepare this at home. So I got this. She is my workmate and I got this from her. Exactly. So when I get them, of course, I don't get them in those holders. I just transfer because I want my fridge to be neat and I want them to be practical. So on the other side, I just have some fresh cheese. And then as you can see, I just cut the veggies so that if they need to cook actually guys i ha i work as a nurse and i do a lot of late shift and i'm just afraid that if i don't prepare things the way i do that my kids might end up loving junk food and that's not the idea so i try i try it's not always like this but i try hard so i cut them into pieces and then i have these holders from ikea this one too i don't have enough of them i need to get more once this when this quarantine season is over lockdown is over and then here i just have some cucumber that i cut also into small pieces just prepared for the kids and i put some tomatoes so actually they could just pick this and eat it the way it is again green pepperoni pepperoni and some lemon yeah some honey lemon so i just make sure that things are ready for them as you can see yeah yep yep nothing special but it works so good and like this i at least have the feeling they eat healthy and then the next cabinet we have eggs mushrooms mushrooms actually it's only me and my husband who eat mushrooms in my home my kids don't love them so this everything in this fridge is washed and ready to use and then here we have some lemon to make some drinks yeah or sometimes i just press them in the water and drink and then here i got different type of cheese this is cheese for them to make some sandwich this one them to make some sandwich and then got some mozzarella if you're a mozzarella fan you know what i mean and we are totally mozzarella fan it just works so well we also love feta cheese feta cheese feta cheese it's just cheese 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 so actually i don't have so much things in this fridge because as i said earlier we got two fridge and those things that i just need to grab quickly quickly like butter you know some milk and things like that i have also in the other fridge so that's it and then the next step we have just some tomatoes and some fruits and the best banner of this fridge this is the water holder guys the water holder it holds 4.5 liters of water and I just put the water here and then it process i will show you that in a minute how it works and if you want to wash it you can just pull it remove it here like this you can just pull it and remove it as you can see remove it completely wash it refill and put it back i love it so a great great design and then down here i have 
fruits, some tomatoes, some fruits, tropical fruits, some strawberries, and as I said, everything is washed, ready to use. It just helps my kids eat more fruits, get more healthy. Not only my kids, but my husband as well. And down here, I have some vegetables, some fruits that are already cut and packed in small bags just ready to be used so what i do as i mentioned before i just try hard for my family to eat healthy even when i'm not around so we, i buy the salad i never buy washed salad i just wash it i buy it as a whole and then i cut myself and wash it okay there are salads that you have to buy them washed like um yeah and so i wash them and then i just pack them in these ikea bags ready for them to be used so if they want to use they just take this put in a bowl put the sauce and start eating super easy and um yeah some more vegetables vegetables without end some melon yeah things like that this okay let me show one more thing that how about yeah like you see this is how this one also is ready to be washed okay of course cucumber i don't cut everything because yeah i just love when it's fresh some pesky things like that i mentioned try hard to be healthy but which i have actually come to discover it's not that hard it's pretty much it for this side let's just have an overview of the whole thing again that's it. That's it. Bigger. Bigger. And we are done. So let's have a back here. And then we come to the outer part of the fridge. The top part, I have these um, drinks. And no, I know they must be having more sugar than declared. But we love them. They taste amazing. They taste amazing. They're so tropical. And I've been loving this for ages. The guava is an amazing fruit. It tastes, it tastes amazing. Guara, uh, guarana. This, I think it's a Brazilian. Yeah, it's a Brazilian product. It tastes amazing. Milk. I buy, I try to buy uh, not UHT, but fresh milk. And so it has to be in the fridge. I have more in the other fridge just for us to be able to grab quickly. This drink here is my husband's drink. He's the one that loves this drink. This is just, as you see, it's a drunk with yogurt and salts. This means it's just a drink with yogurt and salt. I think they dilute just natural yogurt and then we dilute it with water and add some salt. It tastes amazing. You can do this at home as well. You can just put some natural yogurt in a yogurt in a jug, add some water, add very little salt. Sometimes I don't even need to add salt and it still tastes amazing. Yeah, he loves that. So the next cabinet we could be beer. beer, beer, beer. So actually, normally in winter time, this is not here because my husband does not drink cold beer in winter, only in summertime. So that's beer. And we even have some task. He got this from a friend and he has been saving it because it just reminds him Kenya, finest quality lager. We love, I think. Okay, I personally am not a task fan, but he absolutely love task. Yeah, and then further comes to my favorite part we got some rose wine we got some white wine because these are just drinks that should be cool when you drink them some prosecco prosecco because priscilla loves prosecco and then down here is a kid's part let's say kid part it's for my little girl just some yeah some junky drink it's not healthy but she loves it so that's pretty much it for the fridge guys that's pretty much it for this fridge nothing extraordinary but super practical for us now let's go to the freezer so up there 
uh, vegetables, frozen vegetables that I already buy frozen. Maize from my country, Kenya. I love fresh maize. And then vegetables that I just cut, as I told you. I, when I buy my veggies, I wash them. I cut them into the right sizes and freeze them or put them in the fridge to use. I told you earlier, I had so much melon. I bought a big melon, so I had so much of it. And so I just freeze them for the smoothies. And if I get it into these glasses right here, I just have some fresh, uh, some frozen fruits so that when we prepare the smoothies, you just get, take a portion. Also, I don't like keeping them in their original bags, so I always transfer. Don't ask me why. I just do it. So, and then as a prosecco lover i got my glasses in the freezer so that when i drink the prosecco it's really cold an idea from a, uh, an idea that i also grab from a friend and it's i've been loving the idea down here we got the vegetables that have already been used this one have not been used these up here have not been used have not been opened so they're still fresh and then here are the ones that have opened and then i just use this uh these pegs i think uh, pegs yeah to close them they are also from ikea that, that, that's it and then as a coriander lover i just this is how i do my coriander i cut them into pieces and then i just put in these ice cube holders and if i need uh, to cook i just pick one and then i press here and it is throw out there as you can see it's coming up uh, push it back and if i do this it's coming up so i just use just puppies then we continue down here this is where we have things like fish and those kinds of things here we got some laughs and then we got some cheesecake these are my small daughter's favorite and then we have some what do you call this and then we got some dough just to prepare pizza or just yeah for pizza preparation this one is also a great idea so that when i'm working they can just pick that and put whatever they want on their own pizza make their own pizza and then we got this fish sticks I am not a fan of them, but my kids love them. That's pretty much it. And then, guys, I have to be quick because otherwise things might start unfreezing. So down here is where I have red meat. Yeah, it's where I have red meat. Well, just again, when I buy meat, I transfer them this month things, and then I write the dates and uh, freeze them. But <laughs> they rarely expire. We eat meat because I'm a master and I love meat. And then I don't mix red meat and white meat. So here I have chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yeah, that's it. And as you have just noticed, we don't eat um, pork. I only actually enjoy eating pork in Kenya because I just find it tastes amazing. But in Europe, I don't eat pork, and luckily my husband doesn't either. As it does not affect us, don't get us wrong, it does not affect us, but we just don't love it. Yeah, so an overview of the freezer. There is it. Da -da -da -da. I got enough space, guys, and I'm just <sighs> hoping that this lock down gets over so that i just buy organizers as you can see i got one here but i'm not so happy with it so i'm just planning to buy really something that works for me that works for this freezer i am not quite happy with the way things are but i am planning to work with that yeah and then we come over here and here this is where you get to see the ice maker is this whole machine let me just go a little bit away so that you can see this whole huge machine is the one that prepares the ice cubes here they are you can see when you fill water let me show you again when you fill water here it goes all the way to the up here don't ask me how that system works i'm a woman that's not my world. So you have the ice cubes there. 
exactly and outside i'm gonna show you what what this machine here is capable of and then we got some ice cream not really that much and then just some butter and pizza cheese that's pretty much it guys so guys with this freezer fridge we can actually get some crushed ice we can get some ice cubes and we can just get some cold water so what i will do as you can see here it's it's indicating water and if i press here cube uh, it uh, it says cubes and if i press it again it says crushed so we want to have some cubes now then you take a glass then go quite near let's get some cubes but you are actually let me explain this you actually have to hold little and disappear because otherwise you will get a glass full of cube ice cubes so there you are that's it if i leave it it stops if i continue then it gives more so there we are we got our ice cubes and now let's change to getting water back to water and water voila so that's the water and this for mm, let me have a zip amazing yeah i grew up in kenya in kenya it's hot and we love cold water we love cold water my family had to learn that even my first daughter she still doesn't really drink that cold water but i love cold water and my little one is after me she loves cold water so guys we are preparing <laughs> no we are not preparing uh my husband prepared caipirinha and now we're just going to demonstrate on how you get the eyes so again as i showed you before you press cubed and then you get the crushed and then you hold your glass there ready you can hear it preparing and now the crushed ice is hopefully coming you need more now to finalize this caipirinha we are just going to add some mint mint mm. cheers <laughs> cheers guys there you go caipirinha so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed <laughs> this um, fridge organization tour hopefully you could also grab an idea or maybe you have an idea on how i could make it better please if you do leave me a comment and i will try to change <laughs> what, what are you saying yeah, because, uh... don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel mm -hmm. if you haven't and come back weekly for another video and we wish you a nice weekend mm -hmm. and cheers, cheers to some caipirinha. Cheers, cheers baby. Cheers, baby. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.